Hey guys, I have some survival redstone for you today. If you take a look at all the other crap I built, about 99.875% of it is doors, and um, that's really not useful in survival, I guess, but uh, what I have for you today is definitely something different. If I push this button, you'll see it'll reveal some chests, and uh, chests are something that you'll definitely see in survival, and a hidden chest system is something that you would definitely see in multiplayer survival, and although uh, you probably won't be building this in your early stages, you'll probably have a bunch of redstone and diamonds at this point, um, um, I try to keep it as resource light as possible, and to do that, I made it expandable. As you see on this side, it's basically all, actually, it is exactly all the same thing. Um, there's no advanced timings going on on this side, but there's a control unit here, and um, this controls all the timings and stuff. So, uh, the minimum unit is uh, two uh, double chest, which is what most people have, anyways. This can go, uh, I think you can expand this for four or five sets of these chests before you're gonna need a repeater or so. But, um, ow, cat, get off my out. Shit, cat, stop scraping me. Shit, ow, uh, um, I'm gonna just do the tort. Cat, get off of me. Alright, I'm going to be building you one set today, and that's one double chest. Now, for just one double chest, or a single chest for that matter, I'm pretty sure that there's much smaller designs. However, the beauty in this creation is that it um, expands very efficiently. After a certain while, it's going to, um, if you have, let's say, um, even two of these, it's going to be smaller than, let's say, two of like a design that's really only meant for one set at a time. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you how to build the set to tile first, um, and this is actually different than the, um, the first one. Uh, uh, by first, I mean the one on the far left, the one next to the control. Uh, where that con uh, the control controls all the timings. So this is basically um, the design that you have to tile over and over and over again. As you, as you see, it's pretty much the exact same thing, um, like forever, basically. And um, that's what this is. So uh, if you're expanding off of the original, please uh, use this because um, the first one, unit one over there in the far left, uh, it's actually different because of that. Now, um, first you're going to want to make your input monostable just like that. And then here is your input a button. And over here you're going to want to have a dust. And then a repeater. And then a block there. A piece of dust. A piston with a block with uh, sand on top of it. This is probably the first time I'm using sand. I don't use sand that often. And then have a repeater there. And then a repeater there. Over here you're going to want to have a comparator and um uh what do i need a hopper um that's probably one of the most efficient things to do and then basically the longer the line you want to have you fill this up more and more with water bottles i'm just going to fill it up all the way for an example and that'll emit a signal strength 15 when you place uh when the sand goes up and powers that over here you're going to want to have um something also pretty cool it is um, one of those really tiny T flip flop sort of things uh, that were pretty big when 1.5 was introduced. People were like, hey, I have the smallest T flip flop and bullshit like that. But um, uh, this is just one of those, except um, uh, what do you call it? I'm using it as a. That's not supposed to be there. That's supposed to be there. I'm using it as a T flip flop pulser. Basically, it means that it pulses on every other button push. So if I push it now, um, you'll see it'll push, and then if I push it again, you'll see it won't push, um, and that's what we want. So uh, just reset that, and then um, reset that. Over here, you're gonna wanna have uh, dust over here, and then a block there. Over here, you're gonna wanna have um, a block there, and then a repeater on three. Have that going into a piston, and then here's just a regular monostable, and then that goes up there, going into a repeater, and that goes into a block, which once again powers the, uh, this set of repeaters. Over here, underneath, you're going to want to have simply a piece of dust, and I believe that's about it. So if we just give it a whirl, oh, whoops, um... That is supposed to be here in this state. Make sure that um, in the closed state, the uh, item in this uh, circuit over here is in the bottom left dropper. And as you see, it'll work just fine. Um, I, there's really not much to this creation. I think most of it, the fancy stuff, is in this section over here. You guys can figure out what that does over there. But what's happening is, uh, like I said earlier, this sends a pulse every other one. So basically, um, when it's time for it to retract, just like that. 
and then uh, that'll depower this torch and that'll depower these uh, repeaters and that'll power these um, torches so this will extend up too so um, that'll be grabbing that block there and it'll pull it down to there and then over here um, this torch powers this dust this just goes around over here powers this repeater and then um, it'll actually power these bottom pistons and not these top ones since these will be extended so um, here let me break that as you see it's uh, the repeaters are powering those bottom ones and that's giving it the extra pulse so it'll um, have enough time to retract it because of how pistons work and then over here finally when this turns on again it'll power this circuit and um, the repeaters there for extra delay and then that'll go into here and it'll just use the exact same circuit again when these pistons are retracted now I hope you guys enjoyed and um, please upvote on reddit if you uh, really really enjoyed actually because every upvote helps and that's actually how I get most of my views so I uh, hope you guys enjoy and until next video goodbye